Second innings Shami and Al Ashwin run riot as Bangladesh capitulate to yet another innings defeat away from home. The Indian captain sprung a surprise on Bangladesh, deciding to declare the innings without a ball being bowled in a bid to ensure that his fast bowlers exploit the freshness on the track and exploit they did. Umesh Yadav came, got Imrul Kais, Ishant Sharma got the other opener. And Bangladesh from 12 for 2 in the first innings were 16 for 2 in the second innings. Not one to be left behind, Mohammad Shami came back to pick two wickets. Mohammad Mithun and Mominul Haq at 44 for 4. Bangladesh seemed like they wouldn't even survive till lunch. Matters could have gotten worse for Bangladesh had Rohit Sharma held on to a catch off Mushfiqur Rahim, but he didn't. And Bangladesh went to lunch. Four down with two of their season pros, Mehmudullah and Mushfiqur Rahim, still batting. India pushing an all-pace attack throughout the first session. In fact, it wasn't until the 24th over when the first over of spin was bowled. This has been the longest India has gone with an all-pace attack since 2001 in the second innings of a home test. On the other side of lunch though, Mohammad Shami didn't waste enough time. He got Mehmudullah. This time, Rohit Sharma holding on to a catch. India thought the game was within their grasp. But Litton Das frustrated India, stringing together a partnership with Mushfiqur Rahim, a 63-run stand where they went aggressively after the Indian spinners. But R. Ashwin, who hadn't bowled all morning in his fourth over, got Litton Das caught and bowled and India finally seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. Only for this time Mehdi Hassan to string a partnership with Mushfiqur Rahim, Bangladesh going to T, six down. But post T, the inevitable was waiting to happen. Ashwin got two wickets, Umesh and Shami got one apiece. India won the test by an innings and 130 runs, making Virat Kohli the Indian captain with most number of innings wins, him surpassing MS Dhoni as Bangladesh looked all in tatters. That scorecard screams one-sided, not only in result, but also in terms of the number of positives each side has garnered. Bangladesh have two extra days in the build-up to the all-important day-night test at the Eden Gardens. Can they pull their way back? They have time, but do they have the resolve?